associates and welcome to the stranger thoughts the portion of the podcast where we just bring up random things that come up into our heads stuff that we probably did this week stuff that's going on uh not really related to news or a strict topic like you know subject but we try to make it as clean and pc as possible whatever uh so um I know last week we talked about Nintendo, our nostalgia with Nintendo and everything like that. But it seems like uh, Nintendo is kind of effing up with some stuff this week. Man, do you really want us to jump into Nintendo stuff like that again? Well, I mean, we were doing like nostalgia to the happy things about Nintendo last week. We were. Yeah. And it was fun. We did a good job with that. But this week, they decided to go ahead and say, you know... Hey, we know you guys like us and everything, but we're going to make it so that some of you are not going to like us that much. Money? Money? Attention? Attention? Shut it down. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, you heard about it, Andre? No, I'm not too caught up on Nintendo's doing this. Well, n- do this uh, pretty much Nintendo said no streaming on YouTube for people that are in their... Uh, um, you know, Nintendo's um, video content program. Well, like Everyone I mean, that signed up for it, pretty much they said, hey, no streaming games. <sighs> and there it is. That right there. That's the thing I wanted to hear. Look, that. I, already, I already said my bit on that. I said that if they caved to this, mm-hmm. if they caved to this, the dick would only get larger and larger in their ass. Well, once you once you once it's in there, you can't get it out. And the fact that they cave to it means that they get exactly what's coming to them. Seems so. like we should um, get a sponsorship for uh, for like sex lubricants. It's just somewhere, just because we we you know say things like you know stuck in there too much, and you know it's just just a big hard one. You know, God, we would make so much money. Anyway, please continue. So, uh, pretty much this is uh, their statement, Nintendo said. Live streaming on YouTube falls outside the scope of Nintendo Creators Program. You cannot broadcast content on YouTube Live from the account you have registered to the Nintendo Creators Program. If you plan to broadcast content on YouTube Live, you have a couple of options. First, you can broadcast content on YouTube Live from a channel that is not registered in the Nintendo Creators Program. Or you can cancel your channel's registration to the Nintendo's Creators Program and instead register your videos containing Nintendo's IP to the program separately. Videos which had previously been registered through your channel would need to be re-registered individually. So, pretty much... And this is... Yeah. And this is... This is literally somebody going, Hey, I like your product. I'd like to advertise for you. And then you going, you know what? I see that you'd like to advertise for our product, but you know, I'm really, I'm really not feeling it today. So if you could just go down to, uh, go down to reception, go get a form 48B, fill that out, then go up to fourth floor three, talk to Ethel, Ethel B, not Ethel C. She's going to get you hooked up. Then after that's taken care of, you come back down here with a form 75A and we can get you all straightened out. Four hours later, you come back with Form 75A, and then she goes, Oh, no, 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 sir. You need a Form 75A-1. So what you need to do is go back up to Floor 4, Floor 4 now, talk to Tommy. Tommy's going to have a Form 451B. You need to fill that out, go down to Subsection 3 in the basement, talk to George. He's a bit creepy, but he knows what he's doing. He's going to get you that form you need. Just come back up here. We get you sorted out. But I, don't, I mean, uh, uh, first off, <clears throat> uh, which form was the first form? It does it even matter? I mean, it doesn't. It honestly, doesn't. pretty much, uh, it, wh- whatever you p- decide you want to play, and it's you're not a part of Nintendo's creative program that's on that list. It's gonna get you know, you know, copyright strike on it. So pretty much you have to, they're making it so they are only, they only want, you know, I guess content that is 
recorded, pre-recorded or whatever, not live stream. So speed run on YouTube live, not going to happen. Uh, if you if you want to do like a playthrough where you're doing like donation and stuff like that for a YouTube live, none of that's going to happen if it's a Nintendo game. Uh, so pretty much it's it's kind of jacked up. It's kind of messed up that the way that they do that. It's like it's advertising for your game for a platform where YouTube live is not that view, not viewed that often, you know? Compared to Twitch, Twitch pretty much owns the live streaming. Yeah. So I'm really I'm really surprised at uh, YouTube as well that they haven't even decided to say something about Man, this or do something Google's, about this. Google's official stance on all of this is that they're not going to take a stance. They've pro- like YouTube has proven time and time again they don't want to piss off anybody with money because really what they're worried about is remaining functional. And not making sure that the content providers on their the content creators on their services are happy or taken care of. Why? Because there's always somebody else that can fill that niche. That's the way they're looking at it. Because so many people want to get into this. This isn't like when it first came out in like you know 2006, where you were trying to make sure that everybody you know knew that you could do this. Now it's everybody wants to be a a freaking movie star, so they're gonna do whatever they can. And even if you don't want to anymore, there's always Tommy down the street that wants to be a movie star. That is true. Well, I mean, regardless as to if the company wants to hurt itself in that light or not, we've seen things like this happen before. And, I mean, it pretty much is going to happen again. And it might just be the fact that they may have some form of a marketing thing they want to try to work out. It, It... I mean, I'm just trying to find a reason why a company wouldn't want their stuff advertised like that. It, it doesn't make much sense to me. Um, I don't know. And it, I don't know. It's a lot of these. Nintendo is notorious for it. I don't know why they are the main ones that decide, hey. Well, no, it's not we Nintendo can't. of America. Again, it's not Nintendo of America that's doing this. It's the Nintendo of Japan that can't get the stick out of its ass. I mean, but even so, more I think they would more so want their stuff advertised so that people will actually, you know, be like, hey, we want it over here, too. We want to buy it. I think it also might play into the fact that they may be trying to make it like, um, God, what's the, way, what's the way to explain this? All right, you know, like how you have that hot product and everybody wants it? Like Beanie Babies? Yeah. but So let's say like Beanie Babies, but... There's that one that, that one variety of Beanie Babies that mm-hmm. you can't get in the States and you can only get in one particular location. So in order to get to it, you got to go do all this extra travel or you got to do all this extra shipping and handling all this other stuff, whatever. And it has to be, it's the Primo. I think that they may be trying to make Nintendo's platform the premium. Like the, oh my God, like you, there's no open source here you can't you know if you want to get this content you better hop on that old that old steamboat over to to japan or whatever you know what i mean it's not like that because it's digital content but at the same time it's like that it feels like they're not trying to keep you from seeing the game if it sucks or not and so that you can pay the amount to the company get the product and realize that it sucks for yourself and see, I think that's the problem is that this cynicism that we're, we're, we're espousing right here is the crux of the issue is that everybody that's alive now has gotten burned one one too many times. Yeah. That's the reason why, why do you think Twitch is, you know, so, so popular? Part of it is because, yeah, some of the people are really actually interesting. But on the other hand, some of it is, I really want to see what this game is because I don't know what's going on. I can't trust the print media to tell me the truth. So I'm going to watch this person play it. See what problems they run into, and then judge for it myself. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, how well do you think, like, on a on a positive note, like, do you think I think that like, you know uh, what is it, Assassin's Creed Unity would have done way better because nobody would because all the reviews would have glossed over the bugs, and then people would have bought it and gotten a buggy mess. Yeah, and by that time you're already out of cash. 
to me, stuff like Twitch and YouTube is consumer protection. If if somebody just load, loads up a game and it turns into a hot pile of shit, then you know, no, I don't want to spend my 60 ducats on that. Because I don't want to buy garbage, unless you happen to like garbage, in which case, by all means, dig right in. Oh, yeah. well, I think... Can you imagine getting that unpatched Mass Effect Andromeda? Oh, 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 oh. Just, just, just <sighs> version one. Just... I think you're hurting Andre's feelings. <laughs> you just see that weird wobble walk down your <laughs> fat walk. <laughs> <laughs> you're hurting Andre's feelings. No, no, he's right. Why do you think I waited so long? Even as long as I waited, there were still active problems with the game. There's still problems with the game right now that they haven't fixed. I, but you know what? It's a lot. It's a much better product. If I had gotten it in its original state, I don't think I'd. I think I would have been pissed at Bioware. As it stands right now, they're on a, like a they're on a, they're on a bit of a shit list. But it's not like they're all you know kind of like you know persona non grata. It's just I want to keep an eye out because it took them freaking six months. And then they're not even finishing the freaking game because they had they had a lot of hints in the game. Yo, the Quarian the Quarian arcs out there somewhere. It's got like everybody else. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, hey, post credit scene. Yo, listen to the static. Yo, what's going on? Uh, I can't really tell, but according to the translation, they're telling us not to find them. Something's going on. We gotta find them though. <laughs> There's a bunch of there's a bunch of stuff going. Hey, dude, there's a bunch of stuff going out here. Liam's Liam, the, the the black guy, is really like, I know what this is now. After we used it in a fight, it's a minefield. And considering that the people that, that you're using their technology were there to create life and seed planets and make it look like turn out turn regular shit planets into golden worlds full of life and water and breathable air, and then somebody went and seeded that entire place with death clouds. That sought out and destroyed the technology specifically, they minefielded that place so badly that the creators had to leave. So it's like, what are you walking into? Yeah, you thought that you thought that the the the, the gene Nazis were bad, <laughs> until you realize, yeah, no, Super Hitler's like literally over there. But we'll never find out now because they put the entire they put a kibosh on the entire thing. Mm. That being said, no, no, I would not have appreciated spending sixty ducats on a game and then getting a glitch and like diarrhea walking my way down a ramp. That would have pissed me off. <laughs> but hey, you know what? We uh, we live in a time and age where I guess Nintendo feels like you got our seal of quality. Why do you need to worry about seeing the game beforehand? Our seal of quality should be enough. You trust us. We're your family. And see, that's the problem, though, is that they are they have a closed mind as to how the future is rolling around. It's like once people were able to start seeing things before they bought them, that was a wrap. That was a wrap for a lot of the um, developers that were just pushing games because they wanted to hit the market before another person or they wanted to it's, keep their name relevant and just throw something out there that was going to get trashed anyway. You know, it it beat a lot of older minds to the punch. And so now what you have are companies scrambling trying to find out the best business policy or the best business plan to capitalize on getting the most money out of a situation like this. And Nintendo does not know what it's doing in that department. I mean, I'm just going to come out flat and say it. You can call me a jerk if you want to. You know, you might say that just because I don't have a business degree or something, or I'm not, I haven't run a company for 40 years or whatever, that, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. But you don't know what you're talking about. You can say that, but the numbers are going to start showing. The fans are going to start finding other things to get into when they keep getting. I keep getting releases of Mario back to back that are crappier than the version before. Name one crappy Mario game. I'm not going to say Sunshine. I'm not going to do it. Sunshine was probably like one of the best things about the Wii. I'm not going to say Sunshine. Wasn't it on the Wii? But no, I am going to say it was on GameCube. So oh, it was. No. Oh yeah, it was. Jesus. I am well, which one say, was on the Wii? I am going to say Galaxy. Yeah, Galaxy was on the way. Oh yeah, Galaxy was on the way. Yeah, I well, am gonna say Galaxy. Yeah. What did I'm you not it. like about Galaxy? Galaxy was like one of the best things about that. What? Yeah, I, I mixed it up. 
Yeah. No. Dude, every, almost every Mario game has been top notch. Yeah, because they put like their best developers, their best I don't know, man. people on it. I don't know. As you see one Mario, you see them all. But they keep steamrolling the same game. Wait, 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 wait. What do you, oh, hold on, hold on. And I am not the I am not the Here we go. Nintendo guy. But what do you mean you see one Mario, you've seen them all? You see one Mario, you've seen them all. Mario 1 is different from Mario 2, which is different from Mario 3. Mario Super Mario World completely changed the game with its world, technology, graphics design, and abilities. Then you have Yoshi's Island 1 and 2, both of which are similar. That is similar. But it could also be considered a Mario game as a sub as a as a sub story. So I mean like almost every Mario game, every single one is different i don't man you're saying that but at the same time the premises are the same come on now it's you you're running through you gotta do this fetch quest with some stuff and the newer ones you gotta do grinding like i didn't i didn't expect that i would be grinding in a mario game i thought that i would just be running levels and they kept that going consistently i I don't know. It's like Mario should have been finished about, what, 10 years ago? Mario should have been finished. Mario should have been finished. I think that if they really wanted to, they would have released Mario out every 10 years. One Mario game every 10 years. They only, they release one Mario game for pretty much every, one new Mario game for every new system they bring out. Which they bring out a new system like what, every... What? Seven, eight years? Oh, I shorter say, than that. I would say the four to five. Yeah. Yeah. But, but well But even so, it's still like 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 Nintendo does iteration very well. You see that. Nintendo does iteration. They don't come up with wildly new properties talking about a vast amount of subject matter. They do they take Mario. Well there's only one company. Kirby. Anyway, so yeah. One well, company means a lot nowadays. <laughs> Mario, you have, you have you have your Mario, your Kirby's, your Zelda's, your Metroids. That is their that's that's their mainstays. Right. Kid Icarus is on there on the periphery, mm-hmm. and I think as the all around they have the Smash, right, right, and the Party. Yeah, Smash and Party. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> and now that you not, even now they have like the Mies and the Animal Crossing as well. So I mean, it's really like. You, you can't get on Nintendo for having like the same Mario. Because that means you need to get on EA for putting out the same goddamn same fucking I am. football game. I am not de- I am Because not there's, defending less, there's less in the football games. And you the, 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 the value proposition of a football game is close to nil. EA Sports. But it's I mean, a game. And it's just the thing. is like, I guess the formula works for them. Like how you said. But at the same time, it doesn't equate to them being a good company when it comes to understanding their fan base and it doesn't come it doesn't make them a good company for for just you know making the same thing over and over again i mean like how you just said ea with football same thing over and over again we're tired of it but ea has more than just football they put that out there for the guys that want to seem like they're cool you know they don't want to listen to their girlfriends but they're not into the gaming community like that so they just want to play a game that just requires stat building up and things that they like to talk about. I that's mean, fine. Yeah. I'm not welcome. I'm not going to listen to that. It's an RPG. That's what they want. Yeah. They want an RPG. But see, if you tell them that then they just get mad. Look, call a spade a spade. <laughs> mm. If you call something a role play and it's like, oh man, what you talking about? I ain't role playing. This stuff, this stuff for, I'm not going to get into all that. But anyway. I am platforming over here, sir. I don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying, man, is that if they wanted to, Nintendo would be a lot better than what they are. That's with anybody. And there are a lot of places where they can improve. I just feel like Mario game, it's just every time that they feel like they need something to come out, if it's not Mario, it's it's Link. And I'm just, I'm, I'm over it. Well, that's the thing. They don't... Um... They're just now getting to, I guess, try to bring back some of their old IPs back to, you know, the limelight. And it's like, heck, the Switch was actually released with Legend of, released with a Legend of Zelda game. That's like never happened. Yeah. You know, I've never seen that happen. 
Oh, but so let's the, get... most, uh, the most acclaimed Zelda game in decades, I think. I exactly. mean, but we're getting into 2018. I'm gonna need for them to figure something else out. I mean, they just dropped. They just dropped Splatoon, a brand new, a brand new thing with a brand new IP. Do something with Splatoon then, but don't. They have there. been doing stuff with Splatoon. They have weekly events. Man, they I've have been rotating on maps. It. I've been sleeping on it. And you wanna know why? Because I don't hear the buzz about it. And you wanna know why? Because they're pulling stuff like what they just did now. See, you can't say that because if you were all about the buzz, you would have gotten yourself a goddamn PS4 instead of this Xbox 360. Here PC. we go. Yep, that's what we're doing now, right? The same we're Xbox talking 360. About our, we're talking that about our systems. We're doing that. On. I actually watched a documentary on Xbox and their struggle, struggle to keep the Xbox 360 a thing, and they screwed up on the Xbox 360 so hard. But at the same time, their marketing values and stuff went up as the system survived. I don't, God knows how that happened. With all of that internal bickering and people getting fired for stupid reasons and third party parts and all that other stuff. But that's a discussion for another time. All in all, I have to say that this decision to switch away from the YouTube platforms and tell people that they can't show their content it's it's dumb. And I know that we're just one voice out of the many who would probably say, they're doing the right thing by themselves. But if you're talking about catering to millions of people and you're wanting to sell a product, that is not the way to go. Well, all right, I guess. So, yeah, uh, enough bashing Nintendo. We'll just go ahead and say... Oh, I'm sorry. I still had this giant hammer. I was smashing this dead horse. What were you saying? <laughs> Nintendo effed up. I think you need to really change this. So You we'll sound be... so sad. <laughs> I, 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 I am because, well, thank goodness uh, this list it doesn't ca- uh, cover one of my favorite games, Pokemon. Yeah. Because of Game Freak. Right. But I believe it covers the new Samus game. Yeah. And I think it also covers uh, the Shin Megami stuff. And it covers... Uh, but that's only Atlas. Come on. And I think it covers... And I think it covers... Shin Megami. I, think it covers um, I think it covers Shin Megami stuff. It might. But it might, Shin Megami might count as the third party. But I know it covers uh, Fire Emblem. Which, you know... Another one of my likes, so. Yeah. Just one by one. They all fall. But it's fine. Um, we'll be back with the second part in a bit, so stay tuned.